Hello, this is Anthro Teacher, and I'm going to talk today about becoming an Anthro, transforming, working on transforming into one. Uh, basically, my understanding of the universe is there's no real hardware, it's all software. It's kind of a quote that I have that nothing is really solid. So your thought, your mind can influence the reality around you. But physical reality is fairly dense, so it takes a prolonged focus and intent to slowly transform yourself. And this one on the left is Nicodemus. Uh, he's my first Sona, so that's the one I want to transform into. The one in the middle is Rufus, the male. The one on the left is... Rufus female. They're, they're both the same being, really, in a higher dimension, fifth density. So, it started about 20 years ago. I've been a furry for 20 years, and I've been meditating about that long, pretty close. So, I've released a lot of resistance. Uh, I've reached a state of inner peace, and I've dealt with a lot of fears that I had within me. Because when you start to try to transform it to shapeshift or whatever, it's going to affect your mind in a way. And uh, there can be a degree of a, a certain insanity that could, that could come up. So you have to not really uh, be afraid of what comes up. It's going to bring up traumas and stuff within you that you really have to come to terms with. And you have to be okay with who you are before you can begin to transform. So for 20 years, I've been meditating, releasing resistance. And for two to five years past, I focused on the white dwarf star Sirius B in the Sirius system to focus on transforming my body. Uh, which actually strengthened my energy field. So I'm able to do more with kind of in my mind. It, it has a direct link to my energy field, which can make things happen. And you can uh, work on your body too. I pretty much got rid of my tooth pain. I had pain in my tooth before and that's gone. I didn't even focus on that really. Just making my body a little higher density, a higher dimension, slowly, sub-dimensional. Raising my vibration slowly uh, makes me somewhat less physical, but I'm still physical. I still have physicality. But when you raise your vibration like that through seeking out your greatest passion, uh, reality becomes more fluid and moldable. So, worked on strengthening my energy field so that I can have more in influence. And I can do things like lower the temperature if it's too hot, but I have to keep focusing on that. So it gets hard to think about that 24 seven, whatever. I'm not wearing a shirt because it's, it's almost a hundred degrees here and there's my AC's broke. Uh, they're gonna work on it in a few days. So just staying cool as, as much as I can. But one thing I've noticed is in my right ear, I don't know if you can see that, but there was a fold. The fold went down all the way and met here. But that is pretty much right here has vanished. So my ear is like shifting. And it's, it's done that in the past week or so. So it accelerates. Uh, once you unlock a certain ability. I call it intelligent infinity. When you've worked on all the chakras in your body and open up to the crown, you have a constant infinite streaming of energy through you that uh, you still get tired at times, but it's like magic. It lets you work with magic to, to alter the reality around you, including your own body. So this 20 years of work so far has culminated in losing a, a fold in my ear. Uh, if you notice 
his ears uh, at the top, uh, the ears around the top of the head, actually, in these anthros. Uh, so my ears would have to shift from here to top of my head. And my, I would have to grow a muzzle and all that stuff. It is a little painful sometimes. There's pain in my bones. Sometimes my muscles burn a little bit. Uh, sometimes it's just uncomfortable. Uh, it's not always fun. Uh, but it's a dedication. You, you stick with it. And um, I'm going to pull up uh, some kind of magic. My, my lover here, Rufus in fifth density. He's really without form, but this is the form he shows me kind of through the work of an artist. But if I go to, he gave me a hickey actually, right here uh, before. And uh, the next day this hickey was gone. So you can see it's a really good one. It's almost like a heart shape right there. So, and it's, it's really, it looks deep, but it's very, it was very superficial. It didn't even hurt. But when he was giving me the hickey, it stung a little bit. So, um, that was it. He has sharp teeth somewhat. So, um, but yeah, it's my biggest passion. This is kind of like the Transformation Diaries or something uh, I'm working. And my feet seem to have gotten a little smaller. I'm not really for sure. Uh, I only have some evidence that uh, my toes don't stick out as far in my sandals as they usually do. And looking uh, looking at my feet, my left foot especially, looks a little shorter than it used to. So maybe I'm getting smaller, I don't know, but that'd be nice. Um, so I think I, will, I would be more real looking. I won't probably be cartoony like this. I'll have a more real look to me. But Earth is evolving to fourth density now, so magic and stuff like this is becoming more commonplace. I, I think uh, as more people are able to become their personas, uh, it, it's really going to change the world, I think. So that's, that's my dream, is to be able to help people to become their personas. It, it takes a lot of work. It could take decades, but from what I'm learning, it, it can be sped up, but uh, not so much. Uh, you, it, it can be fairly traumatic, sh changing like that because it 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 pulls on your mind, and it can. It, you gotta be comfortable riding on the the threshold of insanity sometimes, because it, it does pull on your mind. Uh but it's it's a it's it's when you get to like where I'm at, the insanity is like wonderful uh it's a controlled insanity you don't lose yourself totally but you let you can let yourself go and for the in your home can give into the insanity it's pretty interesting uh i i so wonder what it is like to be an anthro to to be an amaru that's their species and i don't know if their mind is different than humans uh, I'm willing to let my mind transform. My brain have different chemicals in the body. Uh, the blood may be a little different. Their, their diet may be a little different. But um, I kind of want to go the full experience and become this in full. So I, this is I've been at this for decades. But I'm starting to journal. Now, as I see diff little differences here and there happen... Uh, I want to document as I go. So hopefully this is an inspiration to you that transformation it does happen, but you really have to open to intelligent infinity to start altering reality like that. And if, if you look at the law of one, law of one dot info, the website, uh, read that whole uh, law of one raw material. It will give you a background of densities of, en of energy and, and, and consciousness and stuff uh, to have a better understanding of how the universe works. That everything is really an illusion and we're like actors on a stage. We're like in a dream. So as you open up and release and surrender to the universe... I'm not forcing this. I'm not pushing energy to, to try to transform. I just set the intention of 
I hold myself, imagine that I am him, Nicodemus, and my body is that, and I experience that in full, and it feels like I am him. Um, I feel the ears on the top of my head, I feel a tail, I feel all that, but it's pretty interesting. Uh, get your fields dense and, and strong, uh, your energy field, and you'll be able to manipulate your body a lot easier. So I, I want to become a trans species in a way, uh, become my first sona like in full. So that's a little bit about that. I hope this was uh, inspirational to you and all that. So that was about it. Take care and have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.